Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create a shaker card using these gorgeous flowers from the new Build a Flower stamp set which is called Dahlia. This is a layering stamp but it also gives you the outline so if you want you can color it with your coloring mediums and you can see here are some of uh, the inspiration from the leaflet and of course at the back of the leaflet you will find the guide for all the layering. On the 1st of every month, Alte New releases a new Build a Flower stamp set. They are all gorgeous and they all have matching dyes. I'm going to start with some stamping now. First of all, I'm using all the outline images of uh, the flowers and the leaves and I'm stamping everything with a black ink. To color the flowers and the leaves, I'm going to use the layering stamps and uh, that's why I'm using my stamping platform here. I always find it easier to use a stamping platform when it comes to layering stamping. Only when I use solid images, I always like to prep them with my hand. The leaves have only two layers, so for the first one I'm going with a lighter green shade, which is Firefly, and then the darker green color is Shadow Creek. Now I'm going to do the layering for the flowers. The lighter colors that I'm using here are Rose Quartz and Buttercream. And there are three layers for these flowers. So the second layer is Purple Wine and Warm Sunshine. Altenew inks come in sets of four, both in uh, those big uh, oval sets as well as in little cubes, but you can also get them separately. However, when you get them as a set, you already know which colors go together. And I'm going to finish them off with Cosmic Berry and Caramel Toffee. I will use the matching dies to cut out all the images. I'm just going to secure all those dies down with some uh, purple tape and then run them through my die cutting machine. And here is my cut ginger saying hello to all of you and checking out if I did all that layering stamping correctly. And until he decides to leave my table, I just want to let you know that this is actually part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there lots of info about the blog hop and there are also many giveaways, so make sure to visit. I'm going for a window card today and for that I will use the oval die from the Create a Wreath die set. This is a set that has been released um, probably last year. It's one of those die sets that you will be using again and again because it comes with leaves as well and I find that it creates the perfect uh, spot to nest your focal points inside and since I love making flowers I find that this creates the perfect background. Now I'm using the same die again but this time I'm just going to use the little frame that cuts out so I end up having a panel for my window and now I have a little border for that and I cut that out from gold cardstock. Now you can use this design and just go for a window card, but uh, for this, uh, today I decided to go with a shaker card, so I'm just uh, adding a piece of acetate at the back, and now at the front that I can uh, stick down that uh, frame that I have cut out. I'm using my white Nouveau Deluxe glue, and I'm going to stick that on top of the acetate, and it's going to fit nicely inside like a puzzle. For the flowers, I'm going to use foam squares at the back to add some dimension. I'm going to stick them at the bottom of my window and then I'm going to tuck underneath the leaves. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe here, so the leaves are going to lay flat on my panel and I decided not to use this last leaf as it wasn't working for me. But in any case, it's always nice to have uh, more images than you actually need so you can play around for your flower composition. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment, this comes from the same Dahlia stamp set and uh, I stamp that with um, embossing ink and applied uh, antique gold embossing powder. I'm going to heat set that and that's on a piece of white cardstock which is going to cover up the back of my window. I'm also going to do some uh, inking here, only at the base, coming towards the top where the sentiment is, but making sure that this is going to give quite of an ombre effect where uh, the blue fades out to white. So I just want to have a very very pale shade of blue there that you can see through the window. For my shaker mix I'm using this sequence, these are anti-gold by Nouveau. 
And by the way, you will find linked everything down below, everything that I'm using to online shops. Now I can remove the backing from the foam tape I have at the back and stick everything together. And I press hard at this stage, making sure that this foam tape is nicely attached to the backing because I don't want the sequence to fly away. Finally, I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and the green matches perfectly the color of the darker shade on my leaves. So here are some close-up photos. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And as always, I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Have a lovely weekend!